Hello everybody, Max with AIM Website Pro. There's no intros in my videos because I think they suck. So let's just dive right into it. Uh, here you can see I have my Gmail program that I use quite frequently, especially on my cell phone and my tablet. But you know, I have a lot of email addresses. And in the past, I showed you guys how to add different email addresses uh, to your Gmail. And that's all well and good, but now there's a limit on it. And then you have to pay for, uh, you know, premium features. And so sometimes people are getting frustrated with it. And so in order to check other email, Gmail accounts, you actually have to log out of this one and then log into the one that you know that you're going to go in which is time consuming and meantime while you're doing all that they're advertising they're putting all kind of ads up up on your emails and so on and so forth and some people are just finding this cumbersome and taxing so what's the solution well you can combine all your emails and i mean all of your emails with this Gmail with this email client called Thunderbird and I've been using it for quite some time and here you notice I have my Gmail my Maximus McCullough Gmail I have my A1 website pro it's different companies that I own so that I put all my emails in one spot and another good thing about this is I I, maybe I don't want to see all of them. I just want to see the ones that have, uh, you know, new emails coming in. So I can just click on unread folders, uncheck all folders. And here I have all of the emails that need my attention, you know, that have uh, new emails coming in. And so this has been really beneficial for me and it works great. The other thing that it also does is sync my tasks so all my tasks that I have put on my cell phone or my tablet, they all synchronize with uh, Thunderbird here. So, and then if I add tasks, they synchronize with my uh, my Gmails, and you know, depending on which ones that I want. The other thing that synchronizes real nice is my calendar. I have all kinds of, you know, I, I live by my calendar. Here we're doing Thunderbird email tutorial, so you can see. Yes, I. I I live by this and it really helps me out because whenever I have multiple emails and I need to check them, I don't want to have to keep signing out and signing back into other email accounts. And then obviously Gmail uh, is limiting how many domain emails that you can put into this, this client. Because this uh, uh, mail.google.com, you don't have to check your Gmails from here. This is just an, uh, an online application that they give you to do it. And it's very useful. I mean, we have chat, spaces, meet, and I'll be doing tutorials on that because I really like these features. But uh, sometimes I'm just, you know, I just want to get in. I want to check everything real fast. And that's why, uh, I use Thunderbird. So uh, you could be like me using both, or you could just use Thunder Thunderbird. But that's what we're going to be learning in this lengthy tutorial. And the reason why it's lengthy is because I'm going to show you guys how to do everything in it. Add an email, synchronize your calendars and tasks, and so on and so forth. And Thunderbird is coming up with an update at the end of this month that's going to make it more intuitive. I hear that they want to get in on the, uh, the mobile applications as well. So this is probably a good time to get started with Thunderbird, get used to it, because uh, they, they, they got uh, you know a new leader and... They're, they want to uh, make things good for everybody. So uh, let me just show you. If I click on my inbox, you can see that I don't have the different folders, the promotion, the updates, and stuff like this. And if I want to delete something, I could just hit delete on my keyboard. You know, I, I can hit, hit delete here. I can. I also have the same filtering capabilities so that I don't have to look at emails as they come in. This will filter, but not only my Gmails, but uh, you know my personal emails like uh, Max at A1 Website Pro and stuff like that. So I don't even have to see this stuff. Uh, I don't even have to see the jump. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and show you guys how to set up an email. I'm going to move to another computer for this so that you guys could see actually how easy it is. Okay, so when we fire up a Thunderbird email, this is what it looks like. Now, whenever you first start fire up your Thunderbird, you might have a process that you go through. Now, you can X out of that and just continue on with me here, or you could continue on with their walkthrough steps. But uh, if I want to add an email account, so here's what it offers. There's these different types of things that you could do in, in Thunderbird. You could set up email, calendar, address book, chat, 
file link for you know you hook up your uh, dropbox with this um you can subscribe to your rss feeds and then of course there's new scripts but i'm going to show you how to set up an email so we'll go file new and then right here it says existing mail account so we'll click on existing mail account and we'll just uh i'll, I'll do it for my daughter here faith and her uh email address is faith mccullough 11 at gmail.com and uh, let me go ahead i, I got to put in her gmail password well, if i can remember it and let me just click continue here okay so now notice here we have the imap uh, now in a different video, and I'll have it in a link in the description. It'll show if you don't if you can't get your IMAP to come up here. If it's POP three, uh, you want to turn on IMAP in your Google settings, and I'll sh I show you how to do that in the other uh, video. That's in the description of this post. But uh, you can see that we have keep your folders and emails synced on your server. So this is going to keep everything synced. Uh, so we're just going to click done. And check the password and what it's going to do is going to bring up a browser window and then i'm going to click next i'm just going to go ahead and put in that password click sign in let me see try another password Okay, there we go. And it's going to ask if I want to allow Mozilla Thunderbird email to read and compose, see and download, you know, delete potentially our contacts and also our calendar. We want to sync our calendar. So I'm just going to uh, just click allow down here at the bottom. And then I am going to uh, obviously change the uh, um, password that I have in there. Now it's connecting to the linked service. It's looking up the calendars and it's getting ready to sync and everything there. Just let it do its thing. Okay, so there's three calendars in that Gmail account. And so we're just going to click finish down here. Now notice the uh, inbox is populating everything in the inbox here. And so now that this particular email, that's a lot of emails. So it's bringing in all the emails so that uh, it is pulling it off the, uh, the Google server there. Okay, now to, to view your calendars, you would have to enable them. But uh, this is the... Uh, the home screen here but if you look at the top right there's a little icon here it looks like a calendar if you click on that it'll show the calendar tab and notice it has the big yellow warning it says all calendars are currently disabled and enable an existing calendar or add new ones to create and edit events so over here under calendar see where it says enable just click enable and that enables the, uh, the calendar that now this is the home calendar on your machine okay so in another tutorial i'm going to show you how to bring in your google calendar and it's pretty easy too but from now on for now on i'm we're going to add a another email address because that's what this tutorial is all about notice over here on the right we have our calendar as well but uh, we're going to add another calendar or another email address to show you how this goes and, and this time we'll just use a, a domain Okay, now let's say that I wanted to add a, an email address like max at maximusmccullough.com. Well, basically, I go up here to File, just like before, select New, Existing Mail Account, and we'll put my name in. And max at maximusmccullough.com. Select So, and then add the password. And here it'll try to configure it automatically. And so we'll just go ahead and let it do that. You'll notice here we have uh, the configurations found. 
in green. Now notice the outgoing has no encryption. That's because I use a proxy to send emails. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to select done. I'm going to get this warning that the outgoing server does not use encryption. You've got to select I understand the risks. Click confirm. Of course, you'd never want to do that but, uh, for the sake of this video and to get this showing you guys how this works. Checking the passwords right now. Set up the account. And there you go. So now it's uh, looking up uh, for link services, calendars, addresses, so on and so forth. And all you have to do is click finish and voila, there we go. We got three messages there. And so here we have a Gmail set up. Here we have a domain mail. And you could do this with Yahoo, with Hotmail, virtually any email service that you have. If you have an email, you'll be able to bring it in here to Thunderbird and put them all in one place. Not have to jump around all over the place. This is Max with AM Website Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. The next tutorial I'm going to have is on the Mozilla Thunderbird calendar and how you can sync it with your other calendars. And uh, I'll see you in that next tutorial. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put them below. I look forward to hearing from you.